Today, we're going to be talking about a tool that I got. I, I had to do the fuel line in the, in the Willys project, and uh, I was really not looking forward to pricking my finger on the end of the braided steel line. So I've heard about this company for a few years, and I decided to give them a try. This is Cool Tools. Uh, we got two kits from them. Uh, they're, this is the part number uh, 681. This does uh, dash 6, dash 8, and dash 10 line. This one here, 468, does uh, 4, 6, and dash 8. Uh, these things are a lifesaver. I was a little skeptical about them. I saw the videos. Uh, we got them. They're they're great. Uh, I'll show you how to assemble them real quick. You got this little two-part thing here. It's got a disc in here in case the ferrule wasn't long enough to fit snugly in the in the uh, tool. But you take this off here. Just set it in there. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this with the number eight. Uh, the number ten uh, will be even easier because it's bigger. But we take a little silicone spray, spray it in there, clamp this like this. Now in the instructional videos, they show this going into a vise, but I'm gonna show you, it's so easy. In, no sore fingers, nothing. So now to thread it in, to make it so you're not pricking your fingers again, you just put this in, give it a squeeze. So you can actually use these while you're assembling them on the car itself and not have to do them on the workbench and fit them and retry them and everything like that, especially if you have to run them through a tight spot where you don't want to have the end on it. So once you get these started down pretty good, just break it off. And then finish it up with your tools. So that's how easy this tool works. Uh, they're not the cheapest kit, but they work good enough. And like uh, he says, you'll save the money in band-aids. Um, we used it on uh, a lot of Dash 8 on my dad's Corvette. I'm using it now on the Dash 8 here. The uh, Dash 4 on my dad's Corvette, he said he had to struggle with a little bit more because the smaller lines are always more difficult to do. Uh, the Dash 8 goes down real nice and easy. Dash 4, we could not get it together without using this tool. So I highly recommend this. If you're doing any kind of AN work, instead of having a custom order, a, a pre-terminated line with the ends you want, now you can custom build them right in your shop. And you can do them with really any kind of end, it doesn't matter how, how frayed the end is, how beat up it is, they all go together that easy. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining us guys, we'll see you next time. You sick of struggling and you're hurting your fingers trying to put together? No! Six, eight, ten, part number. Uh, uh, today we're going to talk about braided, 